Martians. Happy assignment day. Now that you are all 10 Mars years old, you are legally adults. This means you are old enough to join the workforce. But first, let's review the great history of our colony and remind us of how far we've come. In the Earth year 2050, the first human scientists left their species birth planet to expand further into the cosmic neighborhood. By 2058, the scientists determined that Mars was indeed inhabitable, and they called for specially trained people to settle the colony. The Northern Pole, the location of our great land, was chosen because of the direct access to resources buried under the soil. The jobs that were necessary for the first generation survival are still used today. Now, it's your turn. You will soon be assigned roles based on what dominant attributes you have expressed. Let's look at the importance of each job before you're given the final decision. Come on, let's go check it out. One of the most important resources for any living organism is water. The first generation struggled with acquiring water and had to rely on recycling the water they brought with them from Earth. Luckily, this wasn't the only option for the next generations. The Northern Pole has an abundance of ice. As the water facilitator, your duty is to harvest the ice from underneath the Martian surface. You will be in charge of the purification of this ice, as well as the treatment of refuse to produce clean drinking water for all. Another problem that needed to be addressed was how to produce food independently and sustainably. Mars lacked the conditions to support life but the colony couldn't rely on the Earth forever. A plan was devised to utilize special cyanobacteria that could survive the negative 63 Celsius temperature outside, changing the nutrient composition of the Martian substrate to become compatible with growing food in the ever-growing biome system. As a member of the food production team, you would be responsible for feeding the entire colony. Further, the food production team uses compost from food waste to fertilize the soil for our plants. You would also help raise and utilize insects in food production. The largest department we have on our base is social services. In this department, there are three main branches, healthcare, education, and intergenerational care. Mental and physical health are very important for something as challenging as living on Mars. Healthcare mainly consists of medical services including general care and specialists that ensure the physical and mental health of the colony. In order to continue the advancement of our colony, the education department was created to teach our children the fundamentals of living on Mars. This department also helps integrate the occasional addition of a colony members to our system. The last department, Intergenerational Care, includes the care of newborn infants and seniors who have met their colony contribution requirements. Technicians are vital in order to keep the systems of the colony running smoothly. The main jobs of technicians are creating fuel, monitoring technology, and repairing any damage to the colony's systems. Fuels such as hydrogen and methanol are made from the atmosphere and the soil of Mars by technicians. In order to begin accumulating an atmosphere, technicians burn fuel to create a global warming effect. This allows for our future terraforming plants to progress. However, technicians are not alone in the scientific endeavors such as creating fuel. Researchers are in charge of maintaining original systems as well as developing new systems for the colony to function efficiently. It is a great honor to work as a researcher. 
it will be up to you and your generation to provide, protect, and nurture the colony into the future. The livelihood of the colony is now in your hands. Good fortune, and may you serve our great colony and take us into the bright beyond. Scarification, population, exodus, there is no place. Hello, Martians! Oh,